really fall for actors on the whole. I was always more interested outside the business. Um, not that I met that many outside the business when we were really into Crossroads in a big way. And then in fact what happened to me is that the head of makeup, Anne, who was a dear friend of mine and also I'd been to school with by a strange chance when I was very small, and she said, I know somebody who you'll be just right for. She said, he's quite unusual though, just play it by ear. And I think she'd had a chat to him as well, because there we were sitting side by side at this um, dinner party, very much dinner parties in those days. And we're sitting next door to each other, sort of doing one of these, mm -hmm. <laughs> And we got on quite well. Uh, and really, it all started there, so I, I got involved really on a blind date. Now he says that he doesn't remember this, that he had been at the dentist and I'd picked him up from the dentist and he was such a, he was so scared or something because he'd had to have an injection and he said it had affected him and he couldn't remember what he'd said, that's what he said. <laughs> we got married shortly after that, about three months after that. And looking back, again, I couldn't do that now because everything has to be booked years in advance, doesn't it? Well, but I just, did it all in three months. It was all a bit of a rush. I think we had to get married on a Friday because I could, they said, oh, all the Saturdays are booked and this. And I said, well, okay, we'll get married on a Saturday. And I went to see him. I've got some time off. All oh, right, that Friday will do. We'll get married then. And that's sort of really what happened. I don't think we had quite the, what goes on now. We didn't have all these, um, I didn't have a veil or anything like that. I just had a hat. And I did have a long dress, but nothing particularly spectacularly, certainly not off the shoulder. My mother would have been horrified going into church without my, my arms covered. And we did have quite a nice fun reception, which was a, a sort of great meeting point of lots of old friends, which was lovely. Look what I found. Yes, doesn't look too bad. It's been wrapped up for years. Lace has gone a bit funny, but apart from that, it's pretty good. <laughs> So the big day dawns, not that far away, of course, because it was only about six weeks, and um, it, it had been a real rush to get it all organised. And of course, being Friday, the rest of the cast really couldn't come because they were all working. It just happened that I had that Friday off because I wasn't in that particular story. Anyway, when the day finally dawned and off we go, and we had a car that the co-op had insisted that we had in white, a white table, and off we go to the belfry from the church. and. There was a red carpet laid out, and the guy driving it had never driven one of these before. And he said, what do I do? There's a red carpet. Do I drive over it? I said, yeah, <laughs> you have to. Otherwise, we're not going to make it to the red carpet. So we did that, and that was all right. And it all went actually quite smoothly. And they just managed to get a bit of, they, they managed to do a bit of filming or something and put it on the local news, which was lovely. And in those days, you didn't have weddings that went on all night. It was all over by 6 o'clock and we were off down the motorway um, and we stayed the night somewhere. We stayed the night in Godston at a 13th century coaching inn and on our first anniversary we thought what a good idea to go back. It had closed. <laughs> After the 13th century it had closed. Well I've managed to find a few things I think. Now let's see what we've got here. Oh yes, there's the press cutting of our chauffeur, or all dressed in white, standing outside the Daimler. I think we're both laughing. <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite photographs. Yeah, I've got Mummy's necklace on. That was my something borrowed. Oh, there's a lovely picture here. What a chance for Jill's juniors, it says. Saul on one side and Harry on the other. Mm, gosh. And there we are in, that must have been in the grounds of the, Church. I think that's the new little bit of church hall at the back. New then, I mean, it's probably 30 something years old now. So, 35 years, you start to take stock a bit, don't you? And uh, now, what do I want to happen in the next, well, I don't think it'll be the next 35 years, but the next few years? I would like us both to not be doing quite so much and taking life a little bit easier. Now, whether that's possible, with it, certainly with a, a grandson and another one on the way, you know. I don't know, and we've always lived hectic lives, so I can't imagine it's going to change that much, but it would be nice to do a little bit of the Darby and Joan bit. Mm -hmm.